wellness mantra everyone today's episode is going to be fun we are going to do a series of asana connected to each other uh, plus all this will be beneficial for your back and it is also something that will strengthen your legs and lower abdomen as you do it all right so let's start with a little bit of a warm up sitting down in dandasana or the staff posture keeping your legs straight in front of you back straight please remember to try and find your sitting bone by now you should probably have discovered your sitting bone is that right and if you can't do that you can put your hands to support your back and still move around and see if you can feel your sitting bones now from here we are going to do a little bit of a march as you sit let's see how you do this breathe in and out 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 that was fun wasn't it all right now let's push to the sides 1 2 Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Now we turn around. One, two, three, and four. Now see if you can do it without using the support of your arms. So you go one. Now swing your hand and see two, three. Four, five. Stretch your hand to the back. Feel that nice stretch. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right. Now for some head movement, side to side, side to side, side to side. and please smile today we will be doing the anantasana anantasana is a posture that will help to stretch your inner thighs strengthen your legs it also helps to uh, tighten your glutes uh, strengthen your glutes it also helps with the lower abdomen and helps with postural correction all right now to do anantasana we have to go on the mat get ready The name Ananta has come from the very uh, beautiful uh, depiction of Lord Mahavishnu in Ananta Shayanam posture, which is lying on the snake Ananta, and uh, he's got uh, Brahma, uh, the the lotus emerging from his navel, uh, upon which Brahma is seated. So Ananta asana is shown with us head rested into the arm. breathing in taking your leg up and holding your big toe with your hand and looking through your big toe into the sky that is the anantasana now let's do a little bit of anantasana warm up we are not going to hold your big toe right now we're just going to lift our legs are you ready 10 rounds of leg lifting all right let's see if you can do it now each time you do it try not to fall onto your back you can use the hand to support your hand body and lift your leg straight engaging the glutes and the outer thighs as you do it all right ready let's start 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 9 and 10 at the 10th one try and see if you can reach out to your big toe okay see if you can reach out to your big toe hold on to your big toe look through your big toe all the way into the sky stay there see if you can pull your leg closer to your body each time 1 2 3 if this is very hard it's all right to hold at your calf Just try and keep your knee straight and hold on to your calf and stay. But for those who can, 
walk your finger up until you hold your big toe and stay. Breathe normally, look up and stay. And slowly let go, don't, don't push your leg down, just drop it down slowly. And now we turn to the other side. And supporting the head ready with your feet together and palms in front one hand in front of your chest to support your body you're going to lift the leg ten times and then hold it at the tenth one ready we go one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. This is the tenth round. Try and see if you can reach out to your big toe. Keep your knees straight. Tug, pull your leg as close as you can towards your body. Stay there. Breathe normally as you gaze through the tip of your toe all the way into the sky. Stay there, smiling face. Let's give a countdown of 10, 9, 8. Those who don't want to hold on to your toes or who can't hold your toes, feel free to hold your calf muscles and keep your knees straight. 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Gently lower your leg down. All right. Now we will be doing a kriya. A kriya is a practice uh, which involves a few practices put together. Today we will be doing the pavana muktasana kriya. What is pavana muktasana? Pavana is air or uh, wind and mukta is to make free um, so pavana mukta sana kriya can actually help to eliminate any air or gas that is trapped within your body now this pavana mukta sana kriya is the supta pavana mukta sana kriya all right so there is a preparatory practice before we finally do the supta pavana mukta sana uh, and that is what I said we are going to do a Pavana Muktasana Kriya. Uh, let's begin with lying down on the mat in Shavasana. You know when you lie down in Shavasana, your legs are away from each other, your palms are facing upwards, not touching your body, relax, sink into the ground, enjoy the body weight. You may shift your body and find a comfortable sweet spot on the ground and enjoy that position for a few seconds before we start our practice. And now slowly bring both your legs together. From here, raise your hand up as you breathe in. Now we're going to do a single leg lift as a part of the Kriya. Starting with our right leg, we do our leg lift four times followed by the left leg. Breathe in, one and down, two and down, three, down, four and down. Now with your left leg, one and down, two and down, three and down, four and down. Good job guys. Now we're going to do both the legs together. Try and pull both your legs up. Try not to bend your knees. Get ready. Breathe in as you lift both your legs up. One and slowly sink it into the ground. 
two and down three down four and down let's try we can do another eight four more making it eight breathe in and five breathe in and six breathe in and seven breathe in and eight good job guys keep doing it keep practicing it all right now we move into the second part of the kriya here bring your hands down and now we lift one leg up bend your leg at the knee hold on to your knee hug your knee with both your hands interlocked with each other and try pulling it towards your abdomen this gives a nice massage to your abdomen now we are going to draw circles with the leg on the floor starting with clockwise circles which means from outside to inside one make big circles two three and four good job now from inside to outside which is anti-clockwise one two three big circles as much as your body let's see all right and four well done now let go of your clasp take your leg up and breathe out and place it down now lift the other leg up one bend it at the knee interlock your fingers pull your knee towards your chest compressing your abdomen with your thighs and we're going to go clockwise which is inside to outside with this leg one two three big circles all right four and that's good now the other way round outside to inside one two three and four good job gently release your clasp take your leg up and slowly bring it to the ground good job that was one part of the pavana muktasana kriya now we go into something simpler the cycling we have done this before do you remember it so raise both your legs up bend both your legs at the knee and now we start cycling in the air one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten now the other way around one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten good job now slowly lower your legs and we get into the final part of the pavana muktasana kriya the pa supta pavana muktasana and to perform the supta pavana muktasana we bring the right leg up first and bend your leg at the knee and pull it towards your head try and see if you can touch your head to you mm. stay there for a few seconds breathe out and come down one more time breathe in and pull it up 
And please remember, we always have to do the right leg first because it helps to compress the ascending colon as you lift your right leg and pull it towards your chest. Right leg first. The Pavana Muktasana aids in relieving you of any gassiness that you experience in the body. It also helps to relieve constipated feelings and also helps to aid with digestion. So let's start one more time. And out. Breathe in. Forehead to knee. And out. One more time and we're gonna hold it there. Breathe normally as you stay there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let go. And now you pull the left leg in. This compresses the descending colon. Now do one and relax. Two and relax. We do three. Relax. Four and relax. This time we're going to hold it and stay there. Stay. Breathe normally with forehead to knee and let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Relax and let go of your leg. In the final Pavana Muktasana Kriya. Lift your right leg first, hold it with your right arm, compress it, press it towards your abdomen. Now bring your left leg up, hold it with your arm and press it down. Now interlock your fingers, hugging both your knees with your pants and breathe in, raise your forehead towards your knee. Breathe normally as you stay here. Feel that fine compression in your abdomen. And gently relax. Let go of your grip. Raise both your legs up and gently place it down. That was Pavana Muktasana Kriya. The one thing you have to remember as you do Pavana Muktasana Kriya is it tends to relieve you of any gas trapped within your body. So do not hold anything in. If you feel like it, let it go. <laughs> Just lie down in Shavasana for a few moments. Legs away from each other, palm facing upwards, eyes closed. Enjoy the relaxation, enjoy the body weight on the ground. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. In. slowly raise your hand along the ground bring your legs together with the support of your feet turn to the side what happened in jerky moments and slowly at your own pace come to a seated posture all right so today's practice 
we performed the Pamna Muktasana Kriya and we also did the Anantasana. This was primarily for your lower body, lower back and um, please make sure that you don't practice the Pavana Muktasana Kriya if you have a serious slip disc or a serious uh, lower back injury or a serious condition of lower back pain. Mm. Always practice with caution, good luck with your practice and please, please, please be consistent and that's where you see the results. I'm here every day, I hope that you're practicing along with me every day too. Until we see you again, goodbye.